Good bro. I'm just chilling and just chilling and building. This is a troll build, I'm just messing about. <laughs> Yo, relax man. <laughs> GG man, GG. Hmm, what looks better? Mm. Oh, that one looks pretty good. Uh, nah. Oh yeah, that's the one. That's the one. That is the one, man. That's the one. Yes. Welcome back to another Division 2 video. And as you can see, my character is very happy with his new haircut. And my guy Martin over here is still trying to fix my Bullet King. I don't know what happened to it, but it did break. So yeah, he's having some trouble with it. But hopefully soon enough, he's going to give it back and we're going to get some Bullet King videos out there. Alright, so as you can tell by the title today, we're going to be getting into what I think is the most kind of annoying build in the game right now. So let me just go straight into this build. So as you can see, I'm running Gunner. And the reason why I'm running this is mainly just for the med kit and for... Yo, 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 you really gonna do that to me now? What a stupid PlayStation. I don't care what anyone says, that was not my fault. The PlayStation hates me and it does not like my channel. Let's just get back into what I was saying. Gunner specialization. The reason I'm using this is for the med kit. And the med kit gives me extra bonus armor after using it. So that's just the main reason why I'm using this specialization. But let's just get into the main weapon of this build. These two weapons here are just there, just for a fact of being equipped. So let's just get into the main weapon. Total damage on here we got 120k, RPM we got 380 and in the mag we got 28. The core attributes we got 14% pistol damage, boom boom boom. Main attribute at the bottom we got headshot damage, that's going to be sparking and that's how we do it. And for the talent we got fast hands, critical hits as a stack of 4% reload speed bonus, max stack is 40, I don't care about that talent. As I said this build is nothing serious, this was just fun, this was just for fun man, seriously. I put this together randomly, I wasn't expecting to do it, I wasn't expecting to make a video, but then with the gameplay I got, it was just, oh man, that was fun. So let's just get into the mask, We're using a DH mask for that 20% pistol damage while equipped in one. The core attribute, we've got 137k armor, we got 9% skill haste, 7.5% hazard protection, and for the mod slot, we got 4.7% crit chance. As you can see, I'm just going to be stacking into so much armor on this build, just so I can stay alive. So for the chest piece we got another stack of armour, I would like to get some more armour 
cool attributes you know so i can have more armor on all of my builds and i think that this will be good to add so we got 15 percent critical hit damage for equipped in one as i said this is not really going to be helping as much attributes we got 4k armor generation i would like to make a build towards that we got 12 percent weapon handling and 7 percent skill haste main talent is unbreakable now if you guys haven't used unbreakable in pvp in the dark zone or in conflict i really think that unbreakable is so much better now and it is it is usable now when your armor is depleted, repairs 95% of your armor. Cooldown is 60 seconds. So as soon as your armor is gone, it's going to repair your armor by 95%. And uh, yeah, I just really think that this is good. I'm not too sure what it is in PvP. Let me just check. So in PvP, it repairs 50% of your armor instead of 95%. So for the holster, we're running a Gilligard holster. And that is for the extra 5% total armor. The core attribute, you got 140k armor on there. Attributes at the bottom, 10.5% crit damage and 12.5% weapon handling. Knee pad, we got a badger tough knee pad and we're equipped to, which is going to give us 10% shotgun damage, which I'm not using. And then we're going to get another 5% total armor. So it's just stacking up armor there, guys. For the core attribute at the top, 157k armor. And we've got 7.2% explosive resistance and 8.3% skill damage. Now, I am going to make a build towards skill damage. That's going to be my next build, which will be a PvE build. So make sure you guys keep your eyes out for that one. Right, so let me just tell you something. Yeah, let me just tell you something real quick. Let me just explain something. The reason why I'm uploading this build is because... I do not want to release the gameplay alone and then release the build after because I know some of you guys will be saying oh that was pointless or this build is not good enough to be waited for. So I just want to put this all out in one video so you guys can see what I was doing to annoy people in the dark zone because it was really fun. So for the glove we got 170k armor for the core attribute that's a god roll stat there. We got 17k health and 4k armor generation. For the backpack giving us 10% health not really useful but again this is just something i made quickly core attribute you got 170k armor at the top there another god roll stat we got 15k health 11 percent weapon handling and a mod slot which is giving us 12.6k armor on kill now i know some of you guys were saying why don't i make an armor and kill build and i'm looking towards that i'm gonna see how it works for the main talents we've got vigilance which is increases total weapon damage by 25 percent taking damage disables this buff for four seconds now with this build i'm not gonna lie this talent really stands out because if you got your shield up and you're getting shot, you're not going to be taking any damage, which means vigilance is going to be up for that whole time. Unless you get shot from the side or in the back, vigilance will debuff. But if you're using the shield right and you're positioning yourself while shooting, vigilance is always going to be there. And that's going to give you that extra 25% damage. And that's why I think that this build was working pretty well in the Dark Zone. Alright, so let's just get into those two skills I'm using here. You guys have been probably looking at this laughing, saying, Bro, you really gonna go this way with the build? You're gonna make it worse? Yep, I really have. So the main part of the build is the shield, because this shield is used with a pistol only. You can only use it with a sidearm, so a sawn off shotgun as well, but I've gone with the pistol. So you got 4.1% holster regeneration on that mod slot. We got 3.5% holster generation on there and 3.8% active regeneration. For the Defender Drone, I haven't even got good mod slots, so I haven't really tried to max out this build. Again, guys, all I've done is stacked armor, put Unbreakable and Vigilance with a Defender Drone and a shield with a pistol. So I haven't really maxed out this build. I haven't tried to. I just put it together. It was fun to use. And I thought, you know what? Let me try to get some gameplay with this. So for the stats, I know some of you might want to see, but let's just go to the pistol. <laughs> We got 19.7% crit chance, which is nothing. We got 50% crit damage, headshot damage at 110%. And yeah, with this weapon, I've just been trying to aim at the head, spam it as fast as I can because, you know, the rate of fire is pretty good for a pistol. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is nothing too special. It was just something fun. But if you got the right build, I'm sure you could get me down with this. You can use a true Patriot exploding. You saw it in the video how I died with that true Patriot. It was not funny. I don't know why you guys laughed at me. That wasn't funny. It, it wasn't funny. But again, guys, this is nothing OP. This is just fun to use. So I appreciate you guys sticking around on the video. Thank you for all the love on the recent videos. And I appreciate all the new subscribers that have come to the channel. If you're new to the channel and you're watching this video now, um, I'm not too sure what you are doing. Have you clicked that button? Oh, you clicked it now, yeah? Okay, cool. That's cool. That's cool. As long as you click that subscribe button, I'm cool. And if you enjoyed this video, smash that like. It's been Division Addiction and I'm out and I'll see you in the next one.